something's off balance out here. Okay. Virgo, I feel that there is someone here that you've had a huge conflict with, okay? Could be dealing with someone who's got um, commitment issues. All right, that's one thing I'm getting here. I feel you're dealing with someone here who's wanting to focus only on themselves, you know, their goals, you know, their money, you know, and this person out here is just very focused on themselves here rather than making a relationship work here. You here have been trying to fight out, wanting to make this relationship work out. But the problem here is that you're dealing with someone here who is in love with their freedom. Okay. They're in love with uh, adventure. They're in love with just wanting to free, wanting to be free. This person tends to run away from anything that gets them tied down to. Okay. And you've been in this battle for a very long time with this person here. And I feel you're giving up on this person finally. Okay. You're giving up on this person here. But whoever you're dealing with here looks like this person here is someone who's very focused on themselves here, okay? Very slow moving here, but this person is still at a crossroads here. They're not making any move towards you. But um, this person definitely is dealing, you're definitely dealing with someone here, you know, with whom um, things just went haywire, okay? There was a very fulfilling relationship here, but something didn't work out in the past here. And looks like you're, you've been trying to make this work out with this person here, but this person just tends to be very, very slow moving towards you, okay? I feel like um, keeping up a happy relationship or being in a happy relationship with this person here has become like, um, it's a very competitive uh, thing here, you know, is what I'm getting up because you could constantly be dealing with someone who tends to come off as very self-centered, okay, very egoistical, very demanding here. This person is someone who's very, very uh, focused on themselves here, okay, so this could come off as someone overly headstrong, you know, a very stubborn personality is what I'm getting here. But, uh, yeah, it looks like this person here is someone who's just fed up. And you know what? I feel you're even dealing with someone here who's just not into relationships. Yeah. You and them, you could be very happy together here, okay? You could even be married, be in a relationship. But I'm getting someone here whose relationship is just not their thing. They're more about their money. They're more about themselves here. And you are coming off as someone here who probably wants some kind of stability, wants some kind of commitment, wants some kind of emotional connection, which you had. But probably it was something that just, you know, too many issues here and that's only i'm seeing because of this person here this person out here is not someone who cheats or something but i'm just getting someone here you know who has an, ag an agenda of their own okay this person is always wanting to be very successful and this person success drives them okay to keep moving forward here tell me more about who's coming towards uh we'll go in love for may 2021 yeah yeah, see, you have a lot of feelings. So that's what I was about to get to, right? You are someone here who has a lot of feelings for this person. You come off to be very emotional to me, okay? Because we have the, um, you know, uh, uh, the high priestess here. This is water energy here. So you're very sensitive here, okay? So I feel that you have, you're more into that idealism, okay? You kind of don't see the reality of the situation. That's what I'm getting here. You're uh, um, very gentle. You know, all you want is you, you You seek harmony and peace is what I'm getting here, okay? And you're all about relationships, cooperation, you know, being considerate and thoughtful, okay? But what's happening here is that this person out here that you're dealing with is someone here who's constantly all about their money, uh, themselves, or uh, probably, you know, someone here who's just not about wanting to be together. Agreed. This person does have a lot of love for you, okay? That's a given here. But what I'm saying here is that you, the, the conflicts that you keep having here is, is probably this person comes off to be someone emotionally very, very detached. Okay. And you're someone here who doesn't, who's a very unpretentious person here. Okay. You're very warm, very friendly here. And you are someone who comes and respects the world of emotions, feelings. Okay. And, um, and you're very honest, okay? And you probably are very um, open and you always see the best of the people, okay? Because of your own loving spirit out here, okay? And you make an excellent lover out here. But I'm getting here is that someone here who does not have wrong intentions towards you, but it's their, um, it's their drive here, okay? This person could be someone, you know, who gets very bored very easily, okay? And um, they can be emotionally very superficial, you don't come off to be someone like that here, okay? This person uh, could be someone, you know, who could be more into, you know, that the, they uh, they have a tendency of being very overindulging, okay? So probably they could overeat or they could just be like, you know, overly into drugs, alcohol or some kind of, um, you know, uh, whatever. But this person has a hard time settling down, okay? That's what the problem is. That's why we're here at the Ten of Cups. So yeah, they love you, but this person has a hard time settling down here with you, okay? Because their love for freedom extends beyond the concern, you know? 
uh, of anything. Okay, they only want their freedom, and they have a very very genuine concern for their freedom. Is what I'm getting here. Okay, which is why things don't do things keep turning back around for you. And you are on the hand here. You are someone who's more emotional based, more commitment based. Okay, you're more someone like who's emotionally very attached. This person out here is absolutely detached from you. Who else is coming to work? Tell me who else. Who's coming towards Libra? Uh, who? Sorry, why did I say Libra? You could be dealing with a Libra. Who's coming towards Virgo in love for May 2021? Hmm. You're on hold. You're on hold here. That's what's happening here. You're on hold here. But this person looks like they will communicate. Okay, they will communicate. Now, this person could be coming off towards you as... Now, I'm feeling how this person will not directly communicate for you. Okay, like they won't like literally WhatsApp you or something. I feel this person is reaching out to you. Okay, they will eventually. And when they reach out to you, I feel there are chances that this person will reach out to you. Probably this person, if you guys work together, there could be some work talk that they have. Or they'll just come towards you, you know, wanting uh, wanting to start off fresh. But this person, their major intention is to focus on themselves. And this person won't give up what they've started. Okay, so even when they come back towards you, it is still going to be their main purpose. Okay. You, I feel here, you are very, very stuck here. Okay. Um, to make something work out with this person here. Okay. This person, like I said, comes off to be someone who wants to be free. Okay. You will have to turn head over heels. Okay. Completely go topple the other way around to make this relationship work. Till you, I mean, it's you who's going to have to make this work. Okay. This person's still going to be a little wishy-washy in and out all the time here. Okay. Because their focus is not you. Their focus is not relationships. Okay. Which is why you guys keep getting into this uh, rift here. You are going to have to do a lot of work, a lot of, lot of, lot of hard work in order to keep this person with you or to sustain this relationship moving forward here, okay? Because I see very contradictory energies out here, okay? Things keep delaying here and you will keep staying in this stuck energy out here because um, you're choosing, your, choosing to keep yourself stuck here, okay? What's the hangman? Ah, see? You know you can move ahead. You know you can do something to make this uh, uh, condition change. You can change the scenario here. But the thing is that you're coming off to me as someone, you know, who's, um, you're a very, very homely person, okay? Uh, someone who likes to take care of the home, protect the home, protect their family members, etc. okay? You're very protective. You're a very home person, uh, like a very homely person, someone who's very loving, very loving family, friends, home is, is what you are all about, okay? You're having a hard time moving away from this person here, okay? Why? Because I feel you are someone here who on constantly... Uh, have a, you have a tendency to become a slave to others, okay? And you neglect your own needs in the process. And that's exactly what you're doing. That's exactly why you're in this place here, okay? You tend to put on the work and the hard work into this relationship, no matter what it demands from you, okay? You're coming off as being very overprotective and trying to, uh, you know, literally sustain this relationship out here. Somewhere, somehow, I do see you as someone here, okay, where uh, you're being a little smothering also out here, okay? It's like, even if this person's like, screw you, or, you know, like, leave me alone or give me some space here, which I feel this person usually keeps on asking you to, you're someone who just doesn't want to let go, okay? No matter how much this person tries to push you away, you're like, no, 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 I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, you know? So, yes, you come off as someone very, very careful but what happens somewhere somehow that overprotectiveness caring comes off to be as someone very intrusive here okay so uh that's also what i'm getting here okay but you're stuck in this situation because of yourself here okay that's what i'm getting here you're probably um you feel the need to pamper this person. You feel the need, you know, you're taking care of this person like a child here. And that's something that you shouldn't be doing because you have a tendency to be very humanitarian. Okay. And you feel like a very uh, genuine care towards this person here. Okay. And you put this person as a person on a pedestal here. But what you're doing here is you're doing your best to try and make this work out and try to get this outcome. Okay. But it's just doing too much. Tell me more about who's coming towards Virgo. Tell me more about who's coming towards work on love for me 2021. I feel you're dealing with someone here who has a lot of, um, say, emotional issues. Okay. Um, I feel you're dealing with someone here who's already gone through a lot in the past. Okay. This person does not take action towards you. This is a matured person. Okay. But emotionally, this person is still stuck because of which this person refuses to take action towards you. The love is there. The love is there. Okay. 
they love you to the moon and back but because they are so stuck emotionally stuck on the past issues now past issues could be anything could be a relationship that you know that screwed them over in the past could be childhood issues whatever happened right this is because of because of which this person is not being able to approach you in a more emotional manner out here okay Ace of Swords in reverse. I think this person is holding back on purpose, okay? Because this person out here is coming off to be someone who is very self-centered, okay? And uh, a very stubborn personality here, okay? You could even be dealing with someone here, you know, who, who tends to be very overbearing, like a very bullish character, okay? Time to time here. This person, for them, nothing is more important to them than success, okay? This is a very independent person that you're dealing with, okay? And they feel, this person feels that they need to make up their own mind, about you and them, okay, and they need to follow their own personal convictions instead of you forcing them to make it happen. And I think that's what you're doing here. You're probably trying and, you know, trying to get this person, say, energetically, spiritually, manifesting, whatever. You're trying to push this person to come towards you in a way where it's like, this is the right thing to do. This person out here is like, no, no one tells me what to do. Okay, I come to you when I want to come to you, okay? They enjoy being their own boss here, okay? So, yeah, that's what, this person is coming off as okay that's a very uh that's a very responsible person okay but the thing out here is that this person out here is someone who's always wanting to try new paths take risks okay they like to venture out into the unknown on their own okay this is someone here who's like stand all stand alone okay which comes off to a lot of people as someone who's very standoffish okay so this person is someone here if they have something in mind which i'm already seeing here if they have something in mind here they are so determined and so self-motivated that they won't let anything stand in their way to accomplish their goal here. Okay. And you on the other hand here, you're trying to accomplish a family, a relationship, a commitment with this person, which is why there are so many risks between you guys here. Okay. Give me one more card for who's coming towards Boko and love. Okay. We had two cards that fell out. I'm not going to take them because I don't know if they were upright or reverse. Give me one more card about who's coming towards Boko and love. Car for who's going to work for and love. Ten of Swords. <sighs> Definitely a new cycle that's going to be beginning between you guys here. Okay. But like I said, you're dealing with an overthinker here. Okay, this is definitely an overthinker out here. This is definitely something that's ending between you guys here. If not ending between you guys here, I feel you are dealing with someone here, you know, who's um you could also be this, okay? I feel by the end here, you will probably cut communication or you will just completely end things here because I feel somewhere, somewhere you're coming up as someone who's becoming very irritated because things are not going your way, okay? You could also be the one who's being very overbearing in this connection here rather than them here whilst they're just doing their things, okay? And uh, this person is not making a move towards you, so you're being very crit critical about this person is also what I'm getting here. That's something you're not being able to tolerate, okay? So... But there's definitely an ending here, okay? Something's ending here. I feel this person doesn't give you what you want and you're finally like, you know what, screw you. I think you're coming off as a very stubborn personality here, okay? This person may try to approach you a few times, but it's not something that you want here because they're coming off as a very, uh, offering you something very small, okay? Very small. I think you're still trying to establish this uh, relationship out here, okay? Whilst keeping quiet because you're very emotional. What happens here is that when you're in this high priestess energy, because you're so emotional here, you tend to resort to res resentment very fast, okay? Because you always try to put yourself, put you, you put the other person's needs first, okay? Because of which you put your needs second. You don't make yourself a priority here. Because of which you start overthinking, overanalyzing here, okay? And I think this could literally drive you into that self-centered position, okay? Where you know what? Screw you. I don't give a shit to what you have to do here. I want this. Either you give this to me or you don't give it to me, which is where I feel that there is an ending here, okay? But uh, I feel... I also feel that you're being very overly critical about this person. Maybe you need to give this person a chance here because something's still not open. Something's still not... Um, Someone's still being very stubborn about opening up what the truth is here. And I think you're going crazy. You're going nuts thinking about the entire situation here, which is why it's leading you to a place where you're just completely reaching a point of burnout. Okay. 
So uh, that's what I have for you. I hope this reading resonates. Uh, leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye bye.